everybody and welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know me, I'm Lucy. I'm a former charity fundraiser, a wife and a mum of two rainbow babies. Anyway, uh, one of those things that makes me happy is Christmas! Yay! It's almost here! Um, and a tradition that we've started doing once we had children was a Christmas Eve box which is essentially a box full of goodies which the kids get on Christmas Eve. Um, I think the tradition originally came from America and it seems to now have really taken off in the UK. So I thought I would do a little video of what we include in our Christmas Eve box. Now I know what you're thinking, it's like is it an added expense at Christmas? Well, it's not the way we work it, because what we do is essentially the things in the Christmas Eve box are presents that we would have given the children anyway, or they're things that they've had year in, year out. So what they get in their Christmas Eve box are new PJs to wear on Christmas Eve, a new outfit to wear on Christmas Day, so for little Miss H, because she is a princess and loves all things pretty and pink, it's generally a pink froofy party dress and I have an extraordinarily lovely one this year. Little Miss H, it's a Christmas jumper which he then normally wears with some normal trousers that he's got. Then they also get some yummy treats, so some chocolates, things like that, some soft toys also a copy of The Night Before Christmas which is one that we've had since Little Miss H was a baby and it goes in their Christmas Eve box every year as the kind of end of the book event that we do. You don't need an expensive hamper. This is like a storage box that I bought years ago and <laughs> I've just Christmas dip with a bit of a ribbon. Normally contains all my junk that I amass, um, but it's been cleaned out and a ribbon just woven through it to make it a bit Christmassy. And there you go. No need to spend a fortune. Cheap, cheerful, Christmassy. Ooh, first of all, the Christmas pajamas. Little Mr. H's Christmas pajamas this year of this gorgeous sleep suit baby grape from Fuji so. and it is so cute the print on it is just adorable I love it and he will look gorgeous in it so that's that little miss H I won't unwrap it because it's nicely folded up it's a night nighty from mini Bowden and it's got these gorgeous little Christmas angels on it that are ballet dancing and just could not be more perfect for Little Miss H really A because she's obsessed with 90s B because she's obsessed with pink C because she loves fairies D because she loves ballet dancers Tick! And then Little Miss H is outfit for the day which actually goes perfectly with the nighty is this gorgeous little dress it's a bit creased at the top from H&M I don't think you can see that properly and um, it's got this pink really pale pink sort of velvet top and a little velvet bow and then this tulle skirt so I know she's gonna love that look gorgeous in it. Little Mr H. Also carrying on the polar bear theme with him. It's a little Christmas jumper from Marks and Spencers and the colour is just so gorgeous but the polar bear so soft and um, just lovely and that was £10 so bargain. Chocolate snowman. One for Little Mr H. One for Little Miss H. And I bought these at a local winter fair that I went to um, and they're so cute. Same person made this hot chocolate, these hot chocolate spoons. So I got those as well, which I thought were very cute and hot chocolate such a Christmassy thing. And the Christmas 
Christmas Eve box. Um, they've been sent by Hallmark Collector's Editions. Minnie and Mickey Mouse. So this Mickey is Santa Mickey, which is very cute. And this is Minnie Claus. <laughs> and they are so gorgeous. They're just so soft. And just so cute, little, little, little faces. <laughs> and look at that. And I know that Little Miss H and Little Miss H are going to love them. So thank you, Hallmark, for sending these. They're gorgeous. So these are the, just to repeat, these are the collected edition Disney Christmas Itty Bitties. And that's Minnie Claus and Santa Mickey and kindly been sent one set each. So, little miss, little miss So There won't be any fighting, which is brilliant. And then lastly, the night before Christmas, which goes in every year and we try and read it to them because they're their time story. Although it might be a bit more of a battle about that this year because little miss is opinionated. Um, and has opinions about what books to read, etc. But we generally give them this. It's the last book in their Christmas book advent calendar where they get a book a day throughout advent. And this is the last one. My next job now is just to wrap some of the things up, not all of them, and put them all together. Um, I also add their stockings in and I also put a little bag that I make up of reindeer food which is literally porridge oats and glitter but it's really important to remember not to sprinkle it outside because it can hurt birds who eat it so instead do what we do which is just put it in a little bowl for Rudolph and his friends right so I'm gonna get wrapping and I'll show you the finished product later bye kids are going to love it so I'm happy with that and uh, hopefully that gives you some inspiration on what to include in your Christmas Eve box and also you know that you don't need to spend a fortune in order to do it so um, hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section about whether you're going to do a Christmas Eve box and what's in yours and do remember to subscribe to my channel I don't speak to you before. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you in 2018. Bye everybody. Take care. Merry Christmas.